Hi, Jeff Simon and Jake Simon here from Social Flight with another stage of our Titan T51D Mustang build. Today we've got something really cool. Um, you know, we are using a True Track, which is also Bendix King Autopilot uh, in the Mustang, and that of course does both pitch and roll. For the pitch servo, one of the things that we noticed when we put it into place is that there was, a, a, I would call it like a, a surprising, you know, drag feel change on the on the stick as you pulled back and forth. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't really that objectionable, but it was really, it was noticeable that it was yeah. there. And so when I was down at Sun and Fun, I talked to Bruce Gavin and the folks at, oh, at Mid-Continent Instruments, which does all the support for the Benix King and True Track product line of uh, their Aero Cruise autopilots. And Bruce was fantastic. He just explained to me that there are two types of servos. There's a normal duty, or a, I believe it's a B type servo it's called, and a heavy duty C type servo. And it turned out we had the heavy duty servos. And really that, he said, that's just not required for the Mustang with the control fields. You don't, you, you just don't need that. And so therefore he said, let's try the lighter servo and see if that really changes the uh, the pitch forces so you don't have to feel that anymore and of course since we're closing everything up on the Mustang this is the time to do it mm -hmm. so we got these two servos uh, that were new and and lighter and also had lighter forces on them and we clearly could tell uh, that there was some kind of a difference in what torque it took to turn each one of these mm -hmm. but the question that kept going in our head was like we can't qu like I think it's less, can we quantify it? And there were no specs on it. So being engineers, we got really caught up in, how do we quantify this? Mm -hmm. And so Jake just said, I'm, I wanna figure this out. I'm gonna actually measure it and tell you what the, tor what the actual friction is to make the torque, uh, to make it happen, mm -hmm. uh, to make these things move. And so I'm gonna step out now and let, I'll work the camera. I'm gonna let Jake explain how he measured it and what the difference is between the B servo on the Bendix King Aero Cruise and the C servo on the Bendix King Aero Cruise, in case you ever wind up uh, with a build or anything and you have to choose between these two, this will tell you the difference in terms of what it, what it feels on the stick. So Jake, yep. take it away. Sounds good. So the, the first step um, when we were trying to figure out the torque is, well, let's just put a torque wrench on it and see if we can get a reading. But the reality is we used um, you know, a regular beam style torque, uh, torque wrench and the lowest one that uh, is just readily available and what we have in the shop um, goes from zero to 80 uh, inch pounds. And the reality is that we're less than five inch pounds um, and even you know, sometimes less than one or two inch pounds. So we experimented with some different extensions doing some kind of reverse uh, directional um, uh, extenders and we found out that still the, the difference between the two was so mini was so small even with um, different extensions that we had to find another way so it's a little bit crude but this is what we ended up coming up with so we have a regular extension um, that is kind of just uh, three quarters on one side and or three eighths on one side um, and we hooked it up to just a cardboard box and we're gonna stick Clecos in it and we're gonna use this to calculate the difference of torque. Um, did a little calculation so we know the torque that um, the extender is uh, providing and then uh, what just the box is providing and then we'll figure out how many Clecos it takes to just get it started um, uh, to move. So we're going to go through that process and see, you know, the difference because when you feel it out, there's definitely a difference, but it's really hard to quantify. Is it uh, almost the same? Is it two times difference, three times difference? Like we want to figure out, um, you know, how much we're gaining if this is really worth it. So this is kind of the test and we'll kind of walk through what we ended up doing. So right now, um, we ended up finding, so I have 13 um, Clecos inside of here. And so what we ended up doing was we'll take the first servo, so this is the B that, there we go, it's all secure. The one thing you really don't wanna do is drop these. 
and we'll hook it on with 13. And this is what we found. So we'll put it on the end there. And you can see that it immediately drops. And so it was 13 that we found that was the breaking point. 12 barely did it, 13 got it there. And uh, when we ran the math, we got 1.8 inch pounds, which on the beam style torque wrench is pretty much what we were seeing, but it's so small in terms of scale that it was hard to quantify. So then we'll go over to the larger one. And it really doesn't make any impact on it. So we'll keep adding some Clicos. So we're at, um, sorry, I said 13 Clicos before. We're at 21 Clicos. So now we'll add some more. So I saw a movement. Let's see if that's something that's just from the force of me throwing it. So it looks like that might have done it. Yeah, so that, that's the point right there. And so that's pretty much what we were seeing before. It's about 37 Clicos that does the difference. So when we did the calculations, um, we saw that it was about 2.8 inch pounds. Um, so we got 1.8 to 2.8 inch pounds. That's about a 60% um, increase in resistance, or at least uh, torque that it takes to, um, to, get, to get it started. So this is basically what we found. So we found that when you go from the smaller um, servo to the larger servo, um, you end up kind of sacrificing about 60% of the, um, you know, of increased resistance while you're flying on an aircraft that has really, really light controls and not a counterweight like some other uh, aircraft do. You really do feel that. And with the, when we were talking to the manufacturer with some lighter aircraft where you really don't need these larger servos, I think we're going to end up sticking with this. It saves us about uh, kind of 60% of resistance. So with that, that's our little crude test um, of the difference in servos. There's probably better ways to do this, but we at least quantified it a little bit. And um, with that, uh, be sure to continue with the build. We've got a lot of uh, really cool steps that are coming up where we're starting to close out the aircraft. Um, we, are, we started a lot of projects and we were in the middle of a lot of projects throughout the last couple of years and now we're really starting to button up the whole thing and get it ready to be taken out of the house. So with that, uh, make sure you stay tuned with things with Social Flight Live every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. We have tons of great guests that we've had on and have scheduled coming up. And then be sure to check out socialflight.com and the free Social Flight mobile apps. And with that, everyone, blue skies.